Praise the Lord, Kosa. What a joy. What a joy. What a joy. What a joy to be here tonight. Everything in the Bible has a reason. Everything, everything. In fact, Jesus said, heaven and earth will pass away, but a tito of my word will not go unfulfilled. In Hebrew writing, they use two full stops. They have a bigger full stop and then a tito. A tito is the smallest word. So everything in the Bible, they clap for a reason. Don't clap yet. <laughs> when they clap in the Bible, it's actually a weapon to announce war against the devil. Second reason they clap in the Bible is to announce victory over the enemy. And the third reason is to welcome the king of all kings. Now give the Lord a massive one. Come on. Give God a glory. Hey! Shalerosa. Look at your neighbor, tell them something good is about to happen. Miracles are about to happen. Favor is in the house. Testimony is about to flow. And if you believe it, put your hands together again. You've got a glory. Amen, amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. What a joy. What a joy to be here tonight. And trust in the Lord that I'll be a blessing to you. You know, when I come to Kosa, I don't feel like I came to preach. I just came to an extension of whom Pastor Matthew is. This is home. And it's such a great joy to see your beautiful faces. I know you've already been blessed. Even if I only put the icing on the cake, it's such a privilege to do so tonight. Are you ready to receive from the Lord? I said, are you ready? You know, when I was told to do this surprise uh, video to celebrate the senior pastor on his birthday, something came up in my spirit. I just remembered what the Lord told me. God told me that man has a calling has a commitment, has a consecration, and has a covenant. You may fight him, turn your back on him. You can't cancel his calling. You can't cancel his commitment. You can't cancel the consecration. And you cannot cancel the covenant he has with God. For this, let us celebrate Pastor Bjorn, Pastor Modele for being awesome leaders, fantastic blessing to the body of Christ, reaching beyond the shores, beyond the shores of Nigeria to the four corners of the world, blessing more than their generation. Come on, give God a praise one more time. Amen, amen. You may be seated because you need to always understand church is more than where you go on Sunday. It is where destinies are shaped. Don't go to a place because it's next door. You go because it's a place where your destiny will be impacted. And ladies and gentlemen, you are in the right house. I said you are in the right house. And what shall I say about his covenant brother and friend, Pastor Korede Komaya. Let's celebrate him tonight. Come and bless the Lord for you. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. I'm just going to share the word tonight, but before I do so, the Lord showed me a couple of things. Lord, I just saw that as I was praying, I saw I see somebody was waiting and suddenly they were being served out of abundance. Out of abundance. Out of abundance. Out of abundance. Somebody scream, I receive it. 
Then when I was praying again, I saw the face of a new baby and I said, what is this? And the Lord says, somebody's about to birth new things. You are about to give birth to some new things. Somebody scream new things. If you believe it, say new things. And I don't know who it is who probably is already pregnant or is about to be. God said there shall be no miscarriage. This year there will be no miscarriage. And even if it's not a natural pregnancy, whatever you carry in your spirit, you will carry to delivery. You will birth a miracle. You will birth a testimony in the name of Jesus. Shout him out with fire. I saw this revelation. I don't know who it is. I saw this revelation. I don't know who it is. It was like, they were, correct, they were collecting secretly documents against someone and I saw fire came and consumed all their paper. No weapon formed against you will ever, 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 ever prosper. Let them gather their documents. We cancel it by the blood. Let them put their lies together. It won't stand. There is victory in your house. There is testimony in your house. Say, I receive it. I don't know, but I, when I was praying again, I saw I said, so they were trying, some of these banditos or bandits, whatever, Nigeria, they keep metamorphosing. They go from uh, Boko Haram to bandit, from bandit to kidnappers. Wherever they, I saw as if they were trying to kidnap someone and <laughs> an angel, <laughs> Probably three times taller than the people who were trying to kidnap came and foiled it. Everyone within the reach of my voice, anyone who touches you with a negative hand, the hand of the Lord will fight them. I released this into January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Shout amen with power. And I love this one, I love this one, I love this one. In the middle of the prayer, I just saw a sieve. Suddenly, the glory cloud began to come into this house. A beautiful glory cloud, get ready. One day during your worship, something is gonna happen here. It's gonna be so powerful. The cloud of glory is coming to the house. It will fill the temple. People will be healed instantly. Miracles will be done. I said miracles will be done. People will be set free. Shout, we receive it three times. Put your hands together, give God praise, give God praise. Sit down, sit down. I'm supposed to pray for these five names so you don't come out, just stand up. If your name is Benga, you stand up. Festus, you stand up. Nike, you stand up. Somebody with a name with Nedu in it, you stand up. Somebody with G-W-O, is it Guam or, you know, it looks like a plateau name, G-W-O-M, I don't know. If you have a name like that, you stand up. I'm not going to let you come out. Father, I release, and when I pray for them, make sure you collect yours too. I decree favor into the life of this man and woman. Let a season of favor break out. Let a season of testimony break out. This is their time to shine. In the name of Jesus. One of them lost money through some people who lied to them. But God said you will get double for your trouble. Double for your trouble. Double for your trouble. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Somebody give God a clap offering tonight. Come on. Praise the Lord. I know you've been blessed by all the ministries who have shared. I believe God gave me a word for you tonight. Are you ready? I came to share a message titled, <laughs> The Order of the God of Suddenlies. The God of Suddenlies is about to visit someone. By the divine order of the Suddenlies of God, your story is about to change. Second Chronicles 29 verse 36. Second Chronicles 29 verse 36. Then Hezekiah and all the people rejoiced that God had prepared the people. Since the events took place, 
so suddenly. Somebody say suddenly. suddenly. Say it again, suddenly. suddenly. I came tonight to let somebody know this year 2024. I'm glad we're at the beginning of it, at the door of it. And the word January come from the Greek mythology, Janus, the God of doors. But we know there's no God of doors. There's only one God and he is our door. And so we are at the door and we are about to enter and we are about to possess. I prayed so much and the Lord told me to come and prophesy suddenly to you because suddenly there will be open doors. Suddenly there will be favors. Suddenly there will be turnarounds. Suddenly there will be change of story. Where they said no, they will say yes. The door they shut in your face, they will open it of their own accord. Ah, they are coming back to look at you and say, have the employment, have the business, have the favor, have the blessing, have the breakthrough in the name of Jesus. And it will happen suddenly. 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 Suddenly in, in Hebrew means hastily, quickly, without warning. Hastily, quickly, without warning. Something is coming hastily to your house. Quickly to your house. Without warning is coming. The God of suddenly will visit you. The divine order of suddenly will break on you. Shout and receive it. Suddenly in the Bible means to be instant. It means to be immediate, to be swift. It means to be quick in succession. When darkness was prevalent in the beginning, the Spirit of God moved upon the earth and suddenly light broke the darkness and things changed. I came tonight to let you know that darkness is over. Don't let anything fool you and make you think, oh, because I'm still feeling it or seeing it, I came to announce to you that God of suddenly will visit you. I said he will visit you. And when God comes suddenly, I want you to know there'll be a termination of negative issues, a termination of challenges, a termination of battles. Suddenly there'll be a turnaround. Suddenly there will be favor. Suddenly there will be joy. Isaiah 48 verse 3 says, I have declared the former things from the beginning. They went forth from my mouth and I caused them to hear it. Suddenly I did them and they came to pass. Psalm 147 verse 15 says, He sendeth forth his commandment, that is his word, as he's sending it tonight upon the earth. His word runneth very swiftly. From the meaning of the word suddenly, suddenly in the Bible, it means immediate. Ah, yeah, Tekozi, Renoshka, Hibrodosia. Some of the things you prayed for for five years, seven years, ten years. This is the year of manifestation. This is the year. This is the year. This is the year. Instantaneous intervention is coming to your house. Provisions are coming to your house. Releases are coming to your house. Blessings are coming to your house. Healing is coming to your house. Shout amen with power. Suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. The God of suddenly is the God of surprise citation. Your family will be visited. Your case will be visited. I, where you are hearing the sound of my voice this morning, this evening, I want you to know your case will be visited. God will visit you. Visit your household. Visit your life. Visit your destiny. Sudden visitation. Somebody say, visit me, Lord. Say it like you mean it. Visit me, Lord. There will be a visitation of the matter. There will be a visitation of the situation. There will be a turnaround to the matter. In the name of Jesus. The God of suddenly is the God of swift operation. 
swift operation. Swift operation. When people think nothing will happen, Psalm 102 verse 13, speedily God will come upon the matter. I prophesy on you today, the time, the time for God to visit you has come in Jesus' name. Psalm 102 verse 2, hide not thy face from me in the day when I am in trouble. Incline thine ear unto me in the day when I call. Answer me speedily. Some of you have waited, you've sown seed, you have prayed, and I am sent all the way from London, England to let you know you will get speedy answers, speedy turnarounds, speedy change, speedy favor, speedy turnaround, speedy change. It's happening from tonight. It's happening from tonight. It's happening from tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. The God of suddenly is the God of last minute miracles. When everybody has given up, suddenly he will show up. And he'll turn the matter around. When God turned the captivity of Zion, we were like dreamers. Ale Karabarozi, Hirena Telara, weeping may have been for a night. Somebody's about to laugh in 2024. I need to make an announcement to someone here. All the years you have lived cumulatively, all the blessings, the favor you have seen, is not comparable to the next six months. It's 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 not comparable to the next six months. Speedily, God will visit. Speedily, God will turn it around. Speedily, your story will change. Shout amen with fire. When God visits speedily, he turns burial service to celebration service. Lazarus was stinking, smelling, then Jesus showed. And when Jesus comes, the tempter's power is broken. When Jesus comes, the devils fly away. He breaks the gloom. He turns the life to glory. All is well when Jesus comes to stay. Hey, he said, Lazarus! Come forth. The Bible says, and the dead man came alive. And he <laughs> are speaking to somebody's life today. They think it's over for you. But suddenly God will turn it around. 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 In Jesus' name. Somebody says suddenly, 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 suddenly. When the God suddenly comes, and look at me, suddenly can be any time. Late in the midnight hour, God's gonna turn it around. He's gonna walk in your favor and around. And around, and around, and around, and around, and around, and around. Acts 16, Acts chapter 16, verse 25, 26. It took Paul the apostle. You know some people, they get liver. Then get liver. They come arrest Paul. Where do you want to chop belly food? We take when I go go to carry Paul. No, 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 Paul. This man is one man orchestra, one man battalion, one man militant, one man Holy Ghost terrorist. When I come go, hey, when I go die, oh, when I prison go fall. They did not know. They arrested Paul. They put him in their jail. Paul and Silas, they began to pray and sing. And the Bible says they praise the Lord so much. They magnify the Lord so much. Verse 26, the Bible says, and sudden. Ah, God will send an earthquake for your sake. I 
I shake the system. Somebody said, shake the system. Shake the system. Shake the system. Shake the system. That is not just a statement, it's a prophetic word. For Koza, God will shake the system. For your household, God will shake the system. So that you will get what they say you will not get. God will shake the system. Earthquakes don't just happen. How come it was the day they were there? How come it was the day they prayed? The earthquake got to the, it says so that the foundation of the prison was shaken. Ah! Systems will be shaken. Everything that locked you up must let you go. Shake yourself and say, let me go. Let me, let me go. Let me go. You're coming out of prison. You're coming out of limitation. You're coming out of challenges. You're coming out of issues. Suddenly, 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 suddenly. And I want somebody in this house to know, go and write it down. 2024, suddenly will be your normal. Suddenly will be your normal. Sudden open doors. Sudden favors. Sudden turnaround. Enemies coming to bow. People coming to beg. People changing their mind. Suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. 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 Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. The, the, the oxymoron. Suddenly, 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 and suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundation of the prison, foundation of prison, family prison, generational prison, prison of your father's house, prison of your mother's house, Prison of the belief system in Nigeria. Prison of, you can't make it. You are not part of the class. Ah! The foundation of the prison was shaken. And immediately, and immediately, all the doors, what happened to them? are falling off my feet. Prison doors are open. Chains are falling off my feet. Suddenly, I so saw this evening upon this altar I prophesy. Come out of prison of limitation. Come out of restriction. Come out of destitution. Come out of darkness. Come out of gloominess. Come into testimony. Come out of problems suddenly 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 in Jesus name somebody give God a praise to now come and bless the Lord for 12 years she carried a problem. Luke chapter 8 from, from verse 43. She carried a problem. She was rejected. She was afraid. She had problems. She was financially drained. The Bible says she spent all her money on the 
physicians. She was physically drained because you cannot live without blood in your body. And every day she had a blood flow. She was emotionally drained. Nobody wanted to relate to her. She was relationally drained. Nobody wanted to come close. She was spiritually drained. Even though Jesus was around, they still lived under the Old Testament and the Old Testament required that she should not enter church. And suddenly, she heard the Savior was passing by. And she told herself, Mametu Oluweyaka Mametu Oluweyaka Mametu Oluweyaka Oge me kamdocha Suddenly This woman is crazy, man. Went to her knees because the Bible says she tore the hem of his garment. That is where anointing gathers. Psalm 133, oh, are good and grateful. Brethren to dwell together. It's like the, the, dew, the dew of harmony is like the oil that flows down to the hem. And she touched. And suddenly, the night upon this altar, I know Koza, I know so much prayer I've gone into this, this 12 DG. Let every oil of prayer, let every grace that has been released, break the power of sickness in your body. Let cancer leave you. Let diabetes leave you. Let sickle cell be broken. Let stroke be broken. Let hypertension leave you. Let migraine leave you. All kinds of sickness to leave you. Suddenly, in the name of Jesus, be healed from tonight. Be delivered from tonight. Set free from today. Shout amen with power. Suddenly, suddenly, but May was heard that Jesus was passing by. Ah, and he cried out, Son of David, have mercy on me. And they tried to keep him quiet. Somebody's trying to shut you out. Tell your neighbor, don't shut me out. Ah, they tried to keep him quiet. Stop! He said, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And then Jesus comes. The, one of the funniest things about the scripture is that unless you get some history behind, you don't understand. And Jesus comes to him and says, what do you want me to do for you? More blind by you, don't be me later. No, but you see him. Hebrew culture and Bible scholars believe that Bartimaeus' father was a blind man. So Bartimaeus himself was a Makafu. Bible scholars also believe that the father taught him how to walk and pretend he was not blind. To have a problem and still walk with swag. The guy got the guy got the guy got problem oh, and still they walk out with swag. So the guy can't confuse Jesus. Jesus got what do you want with all this your The guy said, Jesus, make her confess. As you did so, I no see you. Oh, somebody's going to have a testimony tonight. You will have a testimony. You will have a testimony. You will have a testimony. God will heal you. God will deliver you. Somebody came to this conference. You are so hungry for a shift to the next level. I declare to your life, this is the year of your shift. And it shall happen suddenly. 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 There will be a turnaround in the name of Jesus. Put your hands together, give God a praise.
the God of suddenly also moves mightily to silence evil tongues. When God is ready to move, when people have mocked you and called you name. Ah, Joshua chapter 10 verse 12 to 14. The enemies have come, they have boasted. We will eat these children of Israel up. But Joshua cried, God, by the order of your move on the valley of Ajalon, let the sun stand still. Let the moon remain where it is. And suddenly, God obeyed the voice of a man in a way that had not been seen. I prophesy on you. Every mouth, every tongue that have mocked your life, mocked your ministry, mocked your marriage, mocked your condition, God will shock them. God will move on your behalf. God will walk on your behalf. Things will turn around on your behalf. Change will come on your behalf. Turn around will come on your behalf. Somebody say, I receive it. Say it again, I receive it. Come and say, I receive it. There will be sudden change in your life. Sudden move in your life. Everything that I've held you down must let you go. In your marriage, suddenly. In your ministry, suddenly. In your body, suddenly. Every woman, every family here that's trusting God for the fruit of the womb. And you've done everything. You've been everywhere. This will be your year of suddenly. Sudden testimony. In the name of Jesus. Businesses that are in the house. They've passed you by several times. They've given their friend. But this year I declare, suddenly they will call for you. Suddenly they'll favor you. Suddenly they'll come for you. Suddenly they'll favor you. You will be blessed. You will flourish. You will be above. Suddenly there'll be changes. Suddenly there'll be a turnaround. Suddenly the enemy is silenced. Suddenly the enemy shut down. Somebody scream suddenly. Say it again suddenly. Say it one more time, suddenly. Put your hands together. Give God the biggest praise. Everyone within the reach of my voice tonight, I'm about to prophesy 120 suddenly blessings. 120 suddenly blessings they will follow you they will overtake you it will be the foundation of great things suddenly this 120 blessings will follow you suddenly they will break upon you ah get ready your eyes will see it your mouth will testify it shall come to pass are you ready for it? I want your amen to be powerful. Are you ready for it? I declare from this night, suddenly you will know favor. Suddenly you will know increase. Suddenly receive breakthrough. Suddenly receive healing. I said suddenly receive healing. Broken places to be healed. Hurting places to be healed. Bruised places to be healed. Suddenly receive vision. Vision for greatness. Suddenly receive creativity. You shall be creative every day. Suddenly receive expansion. Expansion to the left. Expansion to the right. Expansion on every side. Suddenly receive connections. Say amen to that again. Look at me. Let me pause on that one. Your connection determines your collections. Your network determines your net worth. If your network is the same, Umuna Association, Sakatinubu Secondary School Association, you don't know more than those people. 
your network is weak. So tonight I am prophesying, let your amen be powerful. Suddenly receive divine connection. Suddenly your favor will be released. Suddenly you will experience acceleration. Accelerated growth. Accelerated increase. Suddenly you will experience strength. Strength like an ox. Suddenly receive resources. Receive resources to carry out your vision. Suddenly receive exposure in the name of Jesus. Suddenly receive, suddenly receive vindication from everyone that have fought you. Receive vindication. Suddenly receive acceleration away from stagnation in the name of Jesus. Shout amen with power. From tonight, suddenly, everything of yours that was held back shall be released to you. Suddenly, you will flourish. I said, suddenly, you will flourish. Number 18, every womb that was shot, womb of blessing, womb of business, womb of childbirth, suddenly I command you, open! Be open! Be open! Suddenly you will experience peace. Suddenly you will be promoted. Suddenly you will be healed. Healed of every disease. Suddenly you'll be restored in the name of Jesus. Suddenly your vision will be clear. Your destination will be clear. Suddenly your family members will be saved. Ale, Tony, Brenna, Shkali. Suddenly your relationships will be reconciled. I say suddenly dry bones come alive. Dry bones come alive. Dry bones come alive. Dry bones come alive. Suddenly your desert will become an oasis. Suddenly all the naysayers, all the mockers, suddenly your success will confound them. Suddenly your success will silence them. I declare tonight, Ayero, Shalika, Pranika, Zalo, suddenly your enemies will be scattered. Your enemies will be scattered. I said your enemies will be scattered. Suddenly, your finance will overflow. 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 Suddenly, your finance will go from Tinoff to a flood. In the name of Jesus, suddenly you will be set free. You will be delivered. Suddenly, depression will leave you. Suddenly you receive strength. Suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. Where they said no, they will say yes. Suddenly, where there was a red light of stop, God will give you green light of possess it. Suddenly, all your portion will come into your hand. Suddenly, doors will open. 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 Suddenly, where you have shed tears, you will go back and laugh. You will go back and celebrate. Suddenly, members of your family will talk to the Lord. Suddenly, your children will know the Lord. Suddenly, your blessing will overtake you. Suddenly, you will speak grace. You will speak blessing. Suddenly, change will come to your life. Ah! Suddenly, everything you have lost will be restored to you. Will be restored back to you. Suddenly, deposits, deposits, deposits of treasures will come into your hand. Ayaramosha, suddenly, every plot, every plan, every program of the enemy planning to attack you, to destroy you, I stand on this altar. Suddenly, they are stopped. Suddenly, they are silenced. Suddenly, they are silenced. 
suddenly every prophetic word that was negative coming from the pit of hell spoken by witchcraft suddenly they come to an end I say they are silenced in the name of Jesus I lay hand on somebody today suddenly your gifts are activated your gifts are making room for you you are moving in the gifts you are operating by the gifts in the name of Jesus suddenly 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 all those who hate you will come and bow to your God they will bow to your Savior suddenly 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 love will overwhelm your enemies they will bow to your God suddenly 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 every empty place of your life will be filled with the treasures of God will be filled with the treasures of God if you believe it say amen tonight upon this altar I lay hand on somebody suddenly in your night season God will visit you he will show you revelation he will give you answers in the name of Jesus suddenly all the walls all the barriers in front of you they begin to fall they begin to fall they begin to fall they begin to fall suddenly you overtake you overtake those who have gone there in the name of Jesus suddenly a finisher's anointing comes on your life you saw January 1 you will see December 31 you will see many years to come tonight upon this altar I prophesy this church calls her suddenly an outbreak of worship an outbreak of miracles uncontrollable miracles uncontrollable anointing I don't know sure. from today suddenly everything that was held back from you shall be released to you suddenly 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 all the indebtedness you were in they shall be cancelled you are coming out of debt you are coming out of debt suddenly double doors are opening double doors of favor double doors of testimony double doors of glory double doors of turnaround I promise on somebody here today suddenly your promotion will come <laughs> they will look for you where you used to be they will not find you there God will lift you up if you hear me say amen suddenly your mind will be renewed for miracles your mind will be renewed for blessing your mind will be renewed suddenly I speak into your life somebody who is hearing me you've been hiding in a cave suddenly you are coming out into glory you are coming out into breakthrough you are coming out into testimony Suddenly, every Absalom planning rebellion and attack on your life. Suddenly, their own weapon will kill them. Their own weapon will attack them. Their own weapon will destroy them. <laughs> every python spirit trying to squeeze life out of you and take away your joy. You walk, you don't enjoy it. Suddenly, their grip is broken. The spell Every Cora, anyone leading an attack on your life from tonight, suddenly God silences them. God silences them. Suddenly, every stubborn spirit you prayed and prayed, they were not moving. Ah, suddenly they leave your life. Enjoy your liberty. Suddenly, every spirit of perversion and destruction leaves you in the name of Jesus. From tonight, suddenly, anxiety leaves you. No more worries. Suddenly, fear leaves you. Suddenly, fear leaves you. Suddenly, the prayers are answered. The doors are opened. I go into the realm of the spirit tonight. Every assassinator who have been using their mouth and their tongue to assassinate you, suddenly God silences them. God shuts their mouth. He gives you the victory. Tonight upon this altar, suddenly the heavens open. Blessing drops on you. Suddenly the rains are falling. 
provision is coming. Suddenly the glory is coming. The blessing is coming. Upon Koza, upon your house, suddenly the glory of the Lord descends. The presence of the Lord descends. The power of the Lord descends. It shall rest on your life. It shall rest on your family. Suddenly God is making room for you. In the name of Jesus. Somebody is in this service today. Alitu Kabri Tali Ramosi. Lamrosh Kayere Rabo. This is the year when suddenly your sphere of influence is rising up. Your place of influence is changing. You are entering the upper echelon. You are preaching on a new level. Shout amen with fire. Prophetize suddenly. The kind of prophets, the shama that protect and preserve people. Suddenly, Koza, those men and women who carry Shama oil to protect the anointing in this house, suddenly God will raise them. If there's anyone seeking to tamper with the house, fire will burn them. Suddenly the heaven will open upon you. In the name of Jesus, suddenly blessing will come upon you. In the name of Jesus, suddenly you will receive unusual favor. Unusual deliverance, unusual wisdom. Suddenly, resources are coming to you. Suddenly, you will expand. You will break through. Young men and young women in this house, suddenly, creative anointing comes on you. Stretch your hand. Stretch your hand forward. I see them in my spirit. They are in this house. There are young men and women in this house. In fact, some of them are not even, they are not aware. God's about to give you a fintech. <laughs> a tech bank. And they are in the house today. Receive! Ideas from the spirit realm will fill your spirit, will fill your mind in the name of Jesus. Tonight on this altar I prophesy strength like an ox receives only. Tonight on this altar I prophesy the things you are still anticipating suddenly they come to pass. 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 Upon this altar I prophesy Aneka Kopri Kururosia by divine acceleration, your dreams will become reality. Upon this altar, I prophesy, someone in this service, you've lived in the land of just enough. Ah! Suddenly overflow. Suddenly overflow. Suddenly overflow. Suddenly overflow. Suddenly overflow. Suddenly overflow. Suddenly overflow, suddenly overflow in Jesus' name. Upon this altar, I prophesy there's somebody here, something has been hiding you. Your time to be known has come. Suddenly, divine exposure. Suddenly, divine exposure. Suddenly, divine announcement. In the name of Jesus, I lay hand on everyone here. Suddenly the power of God comes on your life. Suddenly your dreams will be fulfilled. Your vision will be fulfilled. Radosha! Suddenly there will be manifestation, 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 manifestation of everything you've cried for. Suddenly they will become reality. There are some people who are here. You had a blessing given to you. Then suddenly they reversed it. They took land from you. They took the house from you. They took the job from you. I stand on this altar tonight. I, I said suddenly, you get it back. You get it back.
from tonight suddenly there will be a recompense for the things stolen from you they will pay you back they will pay you back suddenly there will be restitution restitution of joy restitution of healing upon the whole of the house suddenly there will be boldness power boldness power suddenly there will be fearlessness tonight I declare suddenly God will remember you somebody scream remember me remember me remember me and God remembered Noah look at me if God did not remember Noah he's in trouble the door was locked from outside so he can't open unless God remembers and opens then God remembered Noah. Ah! I don't know who it is, but you are going to come to this altar and you will testify. You will tell the world that God has remembered you. It shall happen suddenly. It shall happen suddenly. It shall happen suddenly. And I close tonight by saying, get ready. Because suddenly, Isaiah 43, 19, new things will begin to break out. New things will begin to break out. New favors, new testimonies, new open doors, new blessings, new breakthroughs. Put your hands together, give God the biggest praise. Oh, bless. Come on, bless his name. Bless his name. Your eye will see it. Your mouth will testify. Your eye will see it. Hey! Shalere de la rosa. Rekayaba! Retalobo zekia! Suddenly, everything is going to turn around. Go and write it down. There are people who, three months later, when they see you, they say, is it you or not you? For the speed shall be awesome. The breakthrough shall be beyond imagination. The doors will be like no man can ever open. The people here hearing me today, I repeat again, cumulatively, all the years you have lived on earth, shall not be comparable to the next six months. Shall not be comparable to the next six months. Say amen three times. Now put your hands together. Give God a glory. Give him the praise. Give him the praise. Give him the praise. Oh bless his name. Suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. Suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. Suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. Tell your neighbor it won't be long. Look at someone else again. Tell them it won't be long. Suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. Things are going to just turn around. Suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. Your testimony will go ahead. Suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. It will baffle your world. Suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. So it may come like a problem, but it will turn around. They dumped the ark in the house of Obedidom. And suddenly God blessed him. Ah! You are coming for Thanksgiving. You are coming for celebration. You are coming to rejoice. Your eye will see it. Your hand will handle it. Your mouth will testify that God has done it. Praise the Lord and I come on, praise him. Give him, give him praise. Give him the praise. Oh, bless his name. Oh, Suddenly. 
Tetradicosa. Suddenly. This is the year that God marked out for you. For sudden changes. Sudden answers. Some of you, like the book of Revelation says, your prayer has been gathered at the altar. This is the year that the sudden answer is coming. Look at me. Suddenly is an anthropomorphic word that describes an incredible God. Anthropos, which means man. Because you see, when we say suddenly, is God taken by sudden surprise? No. It's already prepared. It's already provided. But for you, he needs to shock you. Tell your neighbor, he shocks you. <laughs> already provided. Just like Mary was shocked. 16 year old girl. One man just stand in front of her. The guy must be like seven feet. Show who you be. Said, I am Angel Gabriel. And I have been sent to let you know. You shall have a baby. She says, show how. As soon as they get baby. Ah, said, the one whom you shall carry. Suddenly her story changed. Ah, he said, you who have been favored of the Lord. Where are the favored of the Lord here? Hey! 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 Suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. Suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. Suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. Get ready. 